congratulations on your new Kepler Reflect loop. To get the most out of your Kepler Reflect, you can follow this simple guide. You will need to measure your working distance accurately, so please ask someone to help you. The first step is to find your new improved ergonomic position, so don't try your loop on yet. Attach the neck strap to your new loop and place it around your neck. Remind yourself of the working distance you ordered, which is written on the quality card included with your loop. Then sit up as straight as you can, looking straight ahead. To find your relaxed ergonomic position, tuck your chin in by about one centimeter, so your head rotates downward a little. While sitting in this position, ask your assistant to measure from your cornea at the front of your eye to the point you want to focus on. You don't have to look at it. If necessary, adjust your chair and your unit to match the ordered working distance. Put the loop on and check it feels comfortable. The oculus should sit just above the level of your lower eyelid and the nose pad should make full contact with your nose. Check the temple tips curve snugly behind your ears and tighten the neck strap gently if you wish. If you see shadowing at the top or bottom, scroll to the last chapter of this video to fix this. Now it's time to fine focus your loop. Check you are still at your ordered working distance. Close one eye then turn the metal fine focus ring at the front of the loop for the open eye until you find the sharpest focus. Repeat for the other eye. When working with your Kepler Reflect loop, remember to practice your hand-eye coordination. When handling tools and sharp objects to begin with, try moving your hands together with palms upwards until you have them in your field of vision. You can easily adjust the total lamp with its extra coaxial attachment so the light beam comes from exactly the right angle to illuminate your work without shadows. If you see shadowing at the top or bottom of the image when you look through your reflect it can easily be solved by adjusting the height of your loop in relation to your eyes. You can move the loop down by widening the nose pads. Hold the frame firmly at the nose bridge and use your thumb and forefinger to press the nose pads apart. You may need to adjust a few times until the shadowing disappears. If the loop is sitting too low, you can move the loop up by pressing the nose pads towards each other. Hold the frame at the nose bridge and use your thumb and forefinger to press the nose pads towards each other, repeating if necessary until the shadows disappear. If you still experience shadowing, contact your exam vision dealer for assistance. Enjoy working in a new ergonomic position with your Kepler Reflect Loop from Exam Vision.